In today's video, we're diving into a CompTIA Cloud Plus certification practice test to help you prep like a pro. As always, we'll be using one of the most trusted platforms out there, Skill Test Pro, for realistic and up-to-date questions. So, let's jump right in. Question 1. Which backup type only saves new or modified data since the last backup? Full backup, incremental backup, differential backup, snapshot backup, or RAID backup? What do you think? The correct answer is incremental backup. Incremental backups store only new or modified files, reducing backup time and storage usage. Moving on. Question 2. Which cloud monitoring tool provides real-time traffic analysis? SIEM, IDS slash IPS, NetFlow, Syslog, or Load Balancer? I'll give you a few moments. And the correct answer is NetFlow. NetFlow anal analyzes real-time traffic for network monitoring and security detection. Question 3. Which cloud security practice isolates workloads within separate namespaces? Micro-segmentation, role-based access control, IDS slash IPS, container sandboxing, or DLP? Take your time. And the correct answer is container sandboxing. Container sandboxing isolates workloads in separate namespaces, preventing security breaches. Question 4. Which compliance framework is mandatory for handling U.S. government data in the cloud? FedRAMP, GDPR, PCI DSS, HIPAA, or ISO 27001? The correct answer is FedRAMP. FedRAMP ensures cloud services meet security standards for handling U.S. government data. Question 5. Which encryption method ensures data remains encrypted even when processed in memory? End-to-end -end encryption, homomorphic encryption, AES-256, asymmetric encryption, or hashing? Think about it. The correct answer is homomorphic encryption. Homomorphic encryption allows computation of encrypted data without decrypting it, enhancing security. 6. Which cloud pricing model provides a discount for long-term reserved instances? Pay-as-you-go, spot instances, fixed monthly pricing, reserved instances, or Subscription-based. The correct answer here is reserved instances. Reserved instances offer cost savings for users who commit to long-term cloud usage. Next question. Which cloud networking architecture allows on-premises resources to be extended into the cloud while maintaining the same IP space? Multi-cloud, virtual private cloud, VPC, hybrid cloud, direct connect, or software-defined networking, SDN. Take a moment. The correct answer is hybrid cloud. A hybrid cloud allows organizations to extend their existing network into the cloud seamlessly. Question 8. Which tool is commonly used for automating cloud deployments with infrastructure as code, IAC? Kubernetes, Docker, Jenkins, Ansible, or Terraform? The correct answer here is Terraform. Terraform is an IAC tool that automates cloud resource provisioning. Question 9. Which disaster recovery site type mirrors the production environment and is ready for immediately failover? Let me repeat that question. Which disaster recovery site type 
mirrors the production environment and is ready for immediate failover. Hot site, cold site, warm site, hybrid site, or off-site backup. Take a moment on your own. The correct answer is hot site. A hot site is a fully operational disaster recovery site that allows instant failover with minimal downtime. Question 10. Which cloud security tool analyzes logs in real time to detect potential security incident incidents? IDS slash IPS, Cloud Firewall, Content Delivery Network, Cloud Load Balancer, or SIEM. The correct answer here is SIEM. A Security Information and Event Management SIEM, system analyzes logs and detects security threats in real time. Question 11. A cloud provider guarantees 99.9% .9 uptime. What is the maximum allowed downtime per year? 8 hours, 4 minutes, 52 minutes, 1 hour, or 5 hours? I'll give you a little extra time on this one. The correct answer is 52 minutes. 99.99% .99 uptime allows for a maximum downtime of 52 minutes per year. Question 12. A company wants to securely connect its on-premises data center with a cloud provider. Which option is best? Direct peering, DNS filtering, VLAN segmentation, VPN tunnel, or port forwarding? What do you think? The correct answer is VPN tunnel. A VPN tunnel creates an encrypted connection between the on-premises data center and the cloud provider, ensuring secure data transfer. 13. Which cloud storage type is best suited for a database application requiring high performance and low latency? Object storage, block storage, cold storage, file storage, or tape storage? Take a moment. The correct answer is block storage. Block storage provides low latency and high performance storage, making it ideal for databases and transactional workloads. Which security principle ensures users are given only the minimum permissions necessary to perform their task? Least privilege, separation of duties, role-based access control, Defense in depth or need to know. The correct answer is least privilege. The principle of least privilege, or POLP, restricts users to only necessary permissions, reducing security risk. 15. Which cloud networking component is responsible for distributing traffic across multiple servers for high availability? VPN gateway, firewall, load balancer, IDS slash IPS, or edge router? The correct answer is load balancer. A load balancer distributes incoming traffic across multiple servers, ensuring high availability and optimized performance. 16. A cloud administrator notices unexpected high outbound network traffic from multiple virtual machines. What should they do first? Block all outgoing traffic, take a snap snapshot of the affected VMs, reset all user credentials, Perform a forensic investigation or notify the cloud provider. What do you think? The correct answer is take a snapshot of the affected VMs. Taking a snapshot preserves the state of the VMs for forensic analysis while allowing investigation without disrupting services. Next question. 
which IAM model assigns access rights based on the specific job functions within an organization, attribute-based attribute access control, mandatory access control, discretionary access control, federated access control, or role-based access control. Take your time. The correct answer is role-based access control. RBAC assigns permission based on roles, ensuring users only have access to necessary only have access necessary for their job functions. Question 18. Which cloud networking technology allows isolation of virtual network environments within a shared infrastructure? VLAN, subnetting, virtual private cloud, VPC, VPN tunneling, or load balancing. The correct answer is virtual private cloud. A VPC allows an organization to create an isolated and customizable network environment within a shared cloud infrastructure. Two questions left. A cloud engineer notices high latency when accessing a cloud-hosted database from geographically distant locations. What's the best solution? Deploy a CDN? Enable database replication in multiple regions? Increase CPU and RAM collection? Use a dedicated VPN? Or compress database queries? Think it through. The correct answer is Enable database replication in multiple regions. Database replication in multiple regions ensures faster access by serving data from, closer, from a closer geographical location, thus reducing latency. And last question. Question 20. A company using a multi-cloud strategy wants to ensure compliance with different regulatory requirements across regions. What should they implement? Vendor-specific policies, localized cloud instances, decentralized identity management, dedicated pri private cloud, or unified security framework. Take your time, this is the last question. And the answer is a unified security framework. A unified security framework ensures consistent security and compliance policies across multiple cloud servers, uh, providers, and regulatory regions. All right. That wraps up this practice test. Thanks for sticking with me. If you enjoyed this and want more videos like it, be sure to check out the channel for plenty of other certification prep content. I've dropped a link to Skill Test Pro in both the description and the first comment, so free, feel free to explore it yourself. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy studying. All right, I'm going to do that one one more time. And that wraps up this practice test. Thanks for sticking with me. If you enjoyed this and want more videos like it, be sure to check out the channel for plenty of other certification prep content. I've dropped the link to Skill Test Pro in both the description and the first comment, so feel free to explore it yourself. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy studying!